Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, so what we need to do uh, to finish this off and get ready to go is to create a drain. And, uh, you know, we couldn't figure out how to do a drain for a long time. And we're using an old gas valve, which is going to allow a lot of uh, fluid to flow through. And then I just came in and machined a couple of pieces of uh, brass, hex stock actually, and uh, put a pipe thread in them and uh, and then just tighten the pipe thread up I did the pipe thread a little extra deep and then this one I did a little extra shallow and so they're gonna kinda go together and they will sandwich the piece of uh, sheet metal <laughs> uh, that's that the pan is made of and then once that's done then uh, then we will have a drain and actually it's a big enough hole that particles can go down there and not get hung up too. So that's uh, that's a good start. We're gonna drill a hole one of these days soon and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, Nick Collier here and we're gonna start back in on Almond Joe's project. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I just don't have electronics down and so I went to a buddy of mine who's uh, an electronics wizard and I said this is what I need and we're gonna kinda come in a little closer here and figure that out so I said I need to be able to push a, two buttons let's see we've got our button somewhere where's it at alright we're gonna use one from over here Oh, that is our button. All right. Now, this one's red and green. I've got the other set coming. Uh, so the red button will be my kill switch. And I forgot I don't have the kill switch in the middle here, and I need it. But uh, the green button, we're going to have one here and one here. So you have to push both buttons with your hand to get that thing to operate. And then if something goes wrong, there's your kill switch. It pretty much stops everything until you push these two buttons again. This is what I told them I needed. I says, and also I need to adjust a timer that's going to give me um, anywhere from five seconds to, you know, 30 seconds um, of variance that I can do that. And so Bruce, in his electronic wisdom put together a little package for me that's this is pretty cool uh, and the timer interestingly enough is set up so that I can do five seconds or three seconds or two seconds or ten seconds and then also if I screw this little screw right here it changes all the numbers and it goes to five minutes or five hours which is pretty a pretty cool little timer and he hooked up all the wires for me and got all that set up and uh, so basically at this point all I need to do is build myself a dashboard which is going to be right here and put a kill switch in or put uh, that's what I haven't done yet I need to bring this square back a little bit and put the quick kill switch right in the middle here um, now the question is, is do I have room? So there's that part. And the cool part is, is it unplugs with a bunch of pins in it. Is there room for a kill switch? I think so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, we've got our two kill switch positions laid out. We've, we're going to move this up and and then put another kill switch in the center here and uh, and drill some holes in stainless steel and I don't know if you've ever worked with stainless but this stuff is horrible this is 316 by the way I just had some scrap from another project okay uh, we're gonna go over to the well we're gonna lay this out first and then we'll go over to the drill press and um, Yep. 
takes it right off. Well, somewhat. At least it dulls it down. Okay, there's our halfway point. Let's take and brew, move our line up. And I can't remember what the size was. It's one and three quarter. And we want to come in pretty close to the top there, somewhere in there. And one and three quarters will take us right to center line, actually. Let's just make it center line. sure that we have plenty of room there's our pin there's our pin well no we don't have plenty of room this goes that way I think yep it does all right well we don't have plenty of room so so really we need to come all the way to there there's definitely not enough room and I definitely want that kill switch in the center all right so I think we're just gonna have to cut ourselves a new piece of material and we'll be back. Well, I got all excited about making this damn thing and I forgot to turn the camera on. Uh, but uh, here we are. We've made it. And uh, now we've got the piece finished. And now we got to get the plastic off. And that stuff is not easy to get off. I'm sure there's some kind of secret. But uh, I don't know it. So at some point or another, there we go. Ta da! A couple of little corners. And we got ourselves a dashboard. Okay. Now, let's lay this thing out again and see what we come up with. nice now of course we did this whole layout and uh fact is is we have to lay it on the other side <laughs> uh, but for the now for now we're good i think what we can do is just drill some holes some real small holes in all of these centers and then flip it over and lay it out from there well and actually this wants to mill out from up here and these, once we drill a hole, we've got our center hole, so we're set. I think we're in good shape. 
All right, um, we'll be back. Don't know if you've ever drilled 316 stainless, but that stuff is a bear. Okay, we gotta, we gotta cut a taper on this. Okay, so let's see if we can get that in there. Almost. Yeah. Right on top of it. Okay, so travel reasonably slow, lots of oil. A lot of support. Okay, now comes the hard part. We're gonna flip around to the other drill press. Okay, we've got a one inch bit in here. We've got our pilot hole drilled. We're ready to rip. We're gonna move slow and use lots of I don't know, that was just too easy. Sharp bit. Fit like a dream. Let's do it again. Why not? All right, we got three of our holes cut. Now I think what I'm going to do is put a bigger, uh, uh, a, a bigger drill in here and drill this thing as large as I can get it. Then all I have to do is mill some corners and I'll be happy. So let's take this thing out. It's too hot to unwind. All right, fine. Oh. I'll be back. Okay, one last hole here and let's just get started. And... Not bad. I think we got ourselves a dashboard. Okay, we got our basic square cut out. These two surfaces here are okay. These are a little tight. And of course we need to get the corners. So let's start, start in.
let's give our our little box a try here and see if it's going to fit. It's fitting that way and it almost fits that way. So we're going to have to take just a little bit more out. We got a good fit there. Take her out, clean it up, file all of sponge off the edges, and we will have some. All right, we'll so we've got uh, our square. We need to. Remove all of our burrs and possibly square up those corners. Ta da Okay, there it is. Done deal. Nice. And our buttons fit? Yes, they fit beautifully. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get all of our buttons up and everybody kind of in place and then we have to figure out where we're going to bracket this thing. Okay, so let's just find my button ring. There it is. There's that one. Boom, boom. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and I think what, we, what we need to do is put it in the vise upside down. <laughs> um, or maybe we can do it sideways. That might be the deal. There we go. Okay. There's that part. Well, okay. So, first generation kind of worked. But it didn't work because there wasn't enough room here. So we chucked that. Second generation looks really good. I mean, this could actually work. Except that I messed it up in a couple of places. And, uh, and I don't like that. And also, the metal, you know, it's got the bend to it. So then it's good and strong. But then I cut this out here and... It got weak, so it's kind of, you know, it, it's okay, but, uh, geez, I'm looking at it, and it looks better and better every minute, especially kind of down like that. Hmm. Well, that's not too bad. That way, definitely not. But this way has a little style to it. Hmm. 
Well, for one, we can't get the the uh, button in here. So, uh, more effort than it's worth to try to figure that out. So we're going to start again. This time we're going to use a piece of cardboard. Hey, I should have done that in the first place. And we've got a basic design here. So, what are we going to do with it? That's the question. We could follow the, the roundness all the way around and just put our gauges in, but then the roundness is not going to be... Uh, well, wait a second. We could kind of do this. We could come out with another arch wide like that. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Let's give that a try. Take that down to the ground. Let's get our small compass. Our smallest compass. That one. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, let's move back a bit. That's good. And then move this over a little bit. That's good. And then we're going to go from this point here all the way to the top. Not quite. Not quite. That's better. And then we need to get more centered. A little bit more. That's good. And that's almost to the top. So let's just get that arch just a little bit better. There it is. There it is. And that's almost it. I'm going to step on it just to keep it in place. Something like that. Now that's got some promise to it. We're going to bring it up on the desk and cut it out and see what we got. That's our piece. Let's take it over to the, to the cage and see what that's going to look like. Yeah, I don't know. It feels a bit dorky to me. I don't know, there's something missing. So maybe we come out from the center and just take these little legs off. And that might help it. That's not too bad. That's good. Let's just bring it over here and make it about the same. That looks reasonable. All right, we're going to cut them off and commit ourselves to the cardboard at least.
Okay, I like that. Yeah, that's got some promise to it. And one button goes here, one button goes here, one button goes here, and the, the gauge goes in there. I like that. Okay, and we're not going to use thin uh, gauge material. We're going to use some, and, and not uh, stainless. We'll just paint the whole thing. It'll be fine. And then uh, some thicker gauge. And I think I have some in the back room. All right, well, using a uh, piece of scrap that I scavenged from the local uh, steel yard, um, we're going to go ahead and make our mark. using soapstone. That should give us a good uh, indicator as to how to get this thing done. All right, let's uh, put our cutting tip in. about right. Let's see what we can do here. did that okay well rather than lay this whole thing out once again we're gonna just take this and drop it in on top of it kind of square it up in the sit in the uh, space and mark it oops that moved a little bit And then the third one right there, and we're set. Look at that. Oh, man, no problem. Can you see it? Yep. All right, so uh, what we want to do is visually find a center point. Mm -hmm. There's center. And this we're going to actually find there. Crisscross. Some place like right in there. That should give us center. Let's go ahead and drill all our holes and then uh, recut that. And uh, we'll go from there. 
All right, let's take the corners out. So we just kind of come up to the edge here until it touches and then work our way down. All right, let's see what we can do about drilling that hole. We've got a little support behind her, just a little block of steel. And, oh, hang on. That's traveling too fast. That's better. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. It took about an hour, okay, an hour and a half. Um, and now we got what we want instead of some kind of half-ass thing. So um, I'm happy. I'm sure my customer is going to be happy. You know, this is, the, this is the front line of the tool. And if it doesn't look good, the tool doesn't look good and so everything else can kind of be faked but this it kind of wants to look pretty nice and i think we've got a pretty nice deal here let's take it over and see what it's going to look like all right well uh we're going to put it in just about like that and maybe drop it even drop it down just a little bit so it kind of looks like a dashboard i kind of like that approach Maybe just a little bit more grinding out of this and we'll get a nice bead in here or maybe just a couple of inch tacks and um, I think we got something. Paint, it'll be the same color, brown, it'll be good. I like it.